script for the first video that I wanted to post you. But what happened is I was not able to record the script and I will show you what happened. I'm going to record my action into the actions folder and I'm going to do a record a web browser application and the application is going to be. So when I expand this here. Yeah, so this is what I get and but now when I try to record my script, click OK, and then in terms of performance testing, and if you are using an antivirus which is blocking your request, so in those scenarios, just hi, hello, wanna come and welcome back to yet another episode on your favorite Little Slaw YouTube channel. So today in this video, we're going to see about how to fix the issue. So for example, uh, so what happened is I'm actually planning to uh, create videos starting from the step one that is even from the test planning uh, even from the test strategizing and performance to strategizing and then performance test planning and then taking it uh, through the effort estimation and then slowly I will navigate you guys uh, I'll take you through the uh, load runner steps where you can create your scripts understand the difference between the HTML mode the URL mode and various recording options and then we even will see how to uh, do scripts for mobile for true clients on all those things so this is the plan for now and for that uh, I have installed the load runner in my machine and when I was trying to uh, record a very basic script for the first video that I wanted to post you but what happened is I was not able to record the script and I will show you what happened and how did I fix this because I had a confidence that I will fix it so I was able to fix it after some four to five days of struggle but yeah but I finally I was able to uh, fix that issue so today in this video I'm going to show you how did I fix that issue and what all the ways did I try it before I fix that issue and uh, this video will definitely help you in case if you were uh, trying or if you were uh, again facing a similar issue like me and yeah, before we move on to this video, this is me, Yasin Shanmugam. I welcome you all to our Little Sly YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And uh, don't forget to share the video, give a thumbs up, subscribe, and please do join my channel for getting more interesting and informative content like this. And yep, so let's now go to the video. So let me show you what happened is, uh, what happened is like uh, when I'm trying to record, so I'm using, uh, I'm going to record my action into the, actions folder and I'm going to do a record a web browser application and the application is going to be via Google Chrome and the URL address we all know the very famous pet store application and I'm going to start my recording immediately and that's this is going to be the working directory so when I start recording and yes yes okay so let's wait for a few seconds to get that window popped up uh, basically the load runner window no, sorry the chrome window which is part of the load runner recording and yep so here um, I have got the load runner floating bar where I can control the recording where I can pass the recording uh, and where I can cancel my recording or I can even add the renders point yeah so this is what has happened so this site can't be reached so I was not able to in fact view the website the normal website which I normally has access to so which I can even record but like you see I cannot record anything so when I just stop my recording I cannot see anything so this is what the only thing which I have got so if I go back to the replay summary or yeah, to the recording report so when I expand this here yeah, so this is what I get and uh, let me go back to the recording. Yeah, so this is what I have got and this is where I've got a clue of what has what could have happened. Uh, I have no, uh, I mean like the proxy part, everything is fine. Uh, that is the expected one, which is supposed to be part of the proxy. And here, um, this is what I got. So there is something which I've got like uh, the network analyzer, some some keywords I would say in terms of like API, HTTP filter, .dll, the interception auditors, the analyzer modules, the network analyzer. So network analyzer is something which I've got frequently here. So I just got curious. But before that, even load runner itself has come up with this one. So uh, the load runner, the, it actually uh, come up with a pop-up message telling that the recorded script contains no steps. So the visual user generator now includes the recording report 
providing uh, various statistics for your web protocol recording. So in addition, uh, we can even use the report to filter the data. So I just tried this. So this is something which I have tried. So I have went here. I even tried adding, changing the win inet level data, socket level and win inet level data, but nothing had worked out. So then I even um, tried the other way, like I went back to the recording options and I even went to the options as well. I have disabled both these options, like I have disabled the auto SSL detection, I have disabled the auto detection of socket based communication, but still nothing has had worked. So then what did I do is, uh, like I, I told you, I've got a clue of uh, the network analyzer. So what did I do is, I went through the to the firewall part. So, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, it is supposed to be fire control panel and then through firewall, but yeah. But then, uh, let me just show you. So I went to the control panel here, and then I went to the system and security, and then into the Windows Defender firewall. So here, there should be an option where I can allow the Chrome via load runner control. So where I can access, uh, where I can proxy. So the proxied must have worked. When I was uh, trying to connect my uh, Chrome to the external world, to the internet, while I'm trying to record it through the uh, load runner. So that's what actually the plan is. But when I come here, I could not see anything. I mean, in fact, I this had clearly told that these settings are ban managed by the vendor application Avast antivirus. So in my case, it's Avast. So in, in your case, it can be any antivirus or even any bit different or something. So in that case, you have to take care of your firewall. So that is the lesson learned. So then I have opened the Avast free antivirus. And here I again went to the same part. So the protection firewall. And in the apps, I could see um, the ViewGen has access. It was not blocked. The Google Chrome was not blocked. So everything was fine until here. But then when I went to the logs, I believe you can see the screen that all my requests, which is the UDP request. So here even you, you can see the load on a request is blocked. So if you see um, SVC host, I can even show you the exact request. What has happened here? Mm, so that actually has completely blocked. So if you see here the chrome.exe and this has been blocked. So when I'm trying to establish my connection to the external world, so if I open this part, it is enabled, but then I'm not able to access it. So what did I do here is I just disabled it for take for 10 minutes, I would say. So I'm just disabling it for 10 minutes. Okay, stop. So I'm just preventing it. I just tried it. So this is another way where I tried it. So let's see, I'll just show you what happened. So now when I try to record my script, click OK, and then yep, you have to be a little patient until the Chrome gets loaded and load runner sends its uh, screen here yeah so now I was able to see the transaction with I would say the application so that's that was like after five days just imagine the last five days I was like struggling with this part but I was not able to record because I planned to take this session but then I was not able to record so it was like a, a big blocker for me so let me just go through some transactions and let's see and our regular username and password so it worked fine. So let me stop the recording. And yeah, so here if you see, um, yeah, now you can see the recording has been completed. And if I go back to the action, so yep, so I, have a, I was able to record the script. So this is one of the issues that I have faced recently. And I just want you all have to be aware of this. So make sure that if you are coming across this issue, if you are just someone who is trying to uh, record your application in your mission, in your system, or if you have your any of your uh, client is asking you to record some scripts, I mean, like in terms of performance testing, and if you are using an antivirus which is blocking your request. So in those scenarios, just have a look at your defender or the firewall, because that can be a reason for a blocker from 
allowing, I mean, it's again trying to help us, but still uh, some of the things we have to override, right? So that is why I'm, I have shown this uh, scenario to you because this is a simple one. I know everybody can uh, fix it, but still for those who is struggling like me for five days, this would be a, a, a video that can help you to fix it in a minutes, right? So that's why I have prepared this video. And yep, so if you want to watch more videos like this, and yeah, like I told you, uh, I'm going to have a load on our end-to-end -end session. So please do join my channel for end-to-end -end session. I think mostly you can see it, we expect it very soon. And yep, so please do join my channel and subscribe, like, and share the video with your friends. And until I meet you in our next video, it's bye-bye from Vasan Shanmugam and your favorite YouTube channel. Take care and bye-bye.